After a week in Sydney, my family decided to go to Canberra, the capital of Australia. This isn't the first time we've been there, but since there are still several places we haven't seen, we thought we'd visit it again. As the capital city, Canberra is home to many of Australia's government houses, many of the country's national and cultural institutions, monuments, and museums are also situated in the city. Canberra used to be inhabited by indigenous Australians before the British colonization in the 1800s. After a long debate on whether Sydney or Melbourne should be the capital of the country, Canberra was chosen as the final location based on the agreement of placing the capital in New South Wales. The Parliament House is the meeting place of the Parliament of Australia and the seat of the legislative branch of the Australian government. Many of the spaces of the house are open to public. As you enter the foyer, you will be met by a marble staircase and up ahead is the door to the Great Hall. The Great Hall features a 20 by 9 meters tapestry which is an enlarged version of an Arthur Boyd painting. On the second floor, there are visitors' galleries leading to the two main chambers of the house. The chamber of the House of Representatives is decorated in green, while the Senate chamber is decorated in red. There is actually an old Parliament House which was the seat of the Parliament from 1927 to 1988. We didn't visit it because we've been there before, but if you ever visit Canberra, you should definitely go there. Our second destination is the National Arboretum Canberra, an arboretum or a botanical garden devoted to growing trees for conservation, research, and educational purposes. This 250 hectare site was built after the 2003 Canberra bushfires that resulted in a significant loss of the Australian Capital Territory. Ten years later, the National Arboretum opened to the public and it is now the largest monocultural arboretum in the world that has over 44,000 rare and endangered trees.
Because we arrived late in the afternoon, we unfortunately couldn't walk the trails and explore the forests. So I guess we'll have to come back next time. Our last stop is the Mount Ainsley Lookout where you can get a clear view of Canberra's urban plan designed by Walter Burley Griffin who organized the city according to its principal landmarks. Across the lake, you can easily spot Capitol Hill and identify the Parliamentary Triangle. After watching the sunset, we drove to our hotel for a good night's sleep. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.